Hey, I'm here at Miss Porter's house tonight and I wanted to take advantage of a few minutes before the guests come in to show you around a little bit. And maybe you can feel and sense the owners and sense the ladies that are in this house. Uh, it is notoriously haunted, uh, but it is haunted by the most beautiful souls. They are still caretakers of this beautiful property. So we are in their dining room right now. And we're moving into their kitchen area. Everything does have covers on it just so to keep the dust off. So the old cooker and the day bed here. This is where I first spotted one of the sisters on the day bed. And this is where I had to ask permission to come in and uh, do these tours here. This sideboard here has a tendency to rattle. But it doesn't rattle because of the cars going past because it would continuously be rattling. You can hear the cars going past and it doesn't. But every so often it will rattle as though someone is opening the cupboard doors. This was a beautiful safe space, the fernery. Something that was built for them to keep prying eyes, I guess, out of their out of their yard, out of their space. We're surrounded by tall buildings. They would have wanted to have some privacy. We'll move on back into the house. the front door here and the parlour room some of their bits and pieces here and you can see the memorial plaque for Herbert Porter and Florence just there and other bits and pieces if you ever feel like coming in on their open day all of that will be shown to you Let me just take you upstairs quickly. Just two rooms upstairs. So two bedrooms and REM pods on these stairs are very, very active. We do invite the sisters down to come and be with us during the investigation and Florence and Herbert and anyone else from the family is always invited to come in and of course we have the main bedroom here and I do have the tripwire set up ready to go and through to the other side the other bedroom and this sort of goes out onto a little balcony out the front here, uh, which goes out onto one of the main streets that goes into Newcastle. I 
I'm calling in Ella and Hazel. Hello, my darlings. How are you tonight? I hope you feel like talking to us. I've got some guests coming back into your home tonight. They'll all be donating to leave that precious money that's required to keep this house going. I hope you can say hello to them through the lights here and you know what to do. I'm wondering whether you can actually say hello to me while I'm here right now. Can you make the lights flash please? Your home looks beautiful tonight, as usual. The volunteers look after it. They have a great love for your place and a respect for everything that is here. Could you thank you? I know you're glad that they do. I'm glad that you've acknowledged as well. I'll let them know. I'll pass on your message. Thank you so much for that. Shall we have a little bit of fun tonight in the house? To let everyone know that you're still here, still looking after everything. Who should I talk about tonight? Should I talk about Ella and Hazel and Florence? Are you here as well? Maybe Herbert, you're here. Maybe all of you are here tonight. I call you all in. You are very welcome to be here. Of course, this is your house, so why not? I will leave you alone now because the guests are coming in. So I will say goodbye. And we shall talk again later. Can you say goodbye through the lights for me, please, by just one flash? That's okay. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you're interested to come to Miss Porter's, we run Miss Porter's house uh, once a month. And uh, if you can get a group of eight, we will do a private tour for you, especially coming up to Christmas. And uh, hopefully I will see you here soon. And so will Ella, Hazel, Florence and Herbert. Bye for now and thank you for watching.